monster that's in my math book. Roots and zeros and rational root them. I got to save you. I gotta teach this to all my friends. You're gonna love it. Yahoo! Let's start up here with some five seven and five eight. Uh, we're gonna take what we did in five six one step further. I know you guys hate stopping somewhere where you get like we understand it really well. So we gotta move on. Um, we have something called the fundamental theorem of algebra that states that every polynomial equation with a degree greater than zero has at least one solution in the set of complex numbers. So what that means is if you have anything that's a degree that's bigger than zero, so degree of one, you have at least one zero. If you have a degree of two, you have at least two zeros, and so on and so on. So when we look at example one, um, when we have to solve each of these equations, what we can say our number and type of root. So looking at your uh, four here, we know we're gonna need to get four answers at the end. However, we don't know how we're gonna get that. So let's factor this. This is a difference of squares, and it looks like a little bit different difference of squares, just because we have a an x to the fourth. So instead of just saying x plus four and x minus four, then we actually have an x squared and an x squared. <laughs> um, so when we set each of these parentheses equal to zero, we're gonna get two answers from our x squared plus four equals zero, two answers from our x squared minus four equals zero. And so let's go ahead and solve these. So I'm gonna subtract four to both sides. And when I do that, I get x squared equals negative four. Now when you take the square root, or as some of you might call it the square root, um, you're going to get a plus or minus, but notice you have a, a negative underneath your radical. So if you have a negative underneath your radical, remember that comes out as an i. So then you take the square root of 4, you get a plus or minus 2i. Do the same thing for your x squared minus 4, that gives you x squared equals 4. And if we take the square roots here, notice we don't have a negative underneath the radical. So we're not going to have any eyes. Ouch, that would hurt. You know what you call a fish with no eye? Fish. <laughs> I know, that's crazy. Um, so anyway, here are your solutions. You have a total of four. And since it says we have to state the number and type of roots, what we do is we have two real roots. Okay, we have two real roots. That would be your plus or minus two and you have two complex roots, okay? Two real roots, two complex roots. So you have to solve it and then say what kind of roots you have. Um, let's look at example B. Now for example B, this looks a little more complicated, but really it's not. You have four terms. Look for GCF in all three of them. Nope, can't do that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do this by grouping. And we do this by grouping. The first term you can take out on x squared left over you have three x minus one. Over here on the right you can take out a three and you have a three x minus one. We should be getting a total of three zeros since we have a three at the beginning. So we group this and we say we have x squared plus three times three x minus one equals zero. And if you set each of these equal to zero, you're going to get your answer. So we have x squared plus 3 equals 0. 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. So let's solve this one first. If you add 1 to the other side, you get a 3x equals a 1. Divide by 3. Whoops, looks a little weird. A little Caitlin-esque. Uh, you get a 1 third. So there's one real root. Now if we subtract three over here, you get x squared is equal to a negative three. And we are gonna take the square root. So you take the square root, notice you get a negative underneath your square root. So once again, that's gonna come out side as an i. And you're gonna end up with x equals plus or minus. You have an i outside, don't forget plus or minus, because we take a square root, radical three. So you have two answers. Right here, we have a third answer here. 
So when we state our number and type of roots, you say I have two complex roots, and then we have one real root. So um, you can try C on your own. This is something very similar we've uh, we've done before. So if that factors into x plus five and x minus two you're going to end up getting two real roots because you're not going to have any eyes. Um, so see if you can finish that one out.